So in the previous video we showed you how to create these 17 buttons in here and the one sub menu button. Uh, we would like to show you how to uh, create some more buttons and uh, see how you would toggle between uh, multiple layers of button, mul multiple page pages of buttons that cannot fit all together on one page. So we'll go ahead and create a couple of more uh, buttons. And of course we're creating these buttons right now under this sub menu because it's the only sub menu we have. If we were to have more in here then it will make a difference. We would need to select the sub menu that we need to create the button for. And I'll show you that as well in a minute. We'll create another sub menu. Alright, so uh, I just added two more buttons, but you didn't see them in here because, again, this can this screen as well can show only 17 uh, buttons, so it gives you a better idea of what uh, the main screen will show and its capacity. But here's the forward button for that, and you can see this is button number 18 and button number 19 that we just created. And you click the back button to come back, and you will see on the main screen as well. Uh, to see button number 18 and 19, we'll just click the forward button in here. Come back, the back button. Now we'll uh, go ahead and create uh, another uh, sub menu button. Just by clicking add sub menu, like we did before. Let's call this one drinks. Button was added successfully. Now, if I want to add, as you can see, this is a different color. This is the selected submenu. If I want to select drinks, I'll select drinks uh, for a submenu and add some uh, buttons to it. All right. Let's do one more. So this is our drinks sub menu and this is our services sub menu. That's how you toggle between them. And you can see that on the main screen. Nothing to it. 